More about scribes in ancient Egypt. Scribes were writers and well paid. They came from all classes of society. Being a scribe was one of the few ways that men could rise above their parents' social classes. Now let's dive right into scribe schools. Boys had to be in schools that were specially for scribes. Most students were probably artisans or merchants. They came from the peasant classes, not very often. But schooling started around the age of five and they typically spent 12 years learning hieroglyphics, the writing in Egypt. The system was very complicated. First, they mastered a simpler form of writing and then worked their way up to hieroglyphics. Most students had to memorize over 700 hieroglyphics and they spent four years copying the signs. They practiced their writing on wood, flakes of stone, and even pottery. When they were good enough, they could write on papyrus. A type of paper. I mean, papyrus, a type of paper made from the papyrus plant. Students in scribe schools had a hard life. Classes lasted till dawn to sunset. Teachers were strict and yelled at their students. <laughs> that was the best part. <laughs> that was literally the best part. Beatings were also prescribed. So, Pam, Pam, <gasps> Panda. She has been knocked out. Back to the bright side, scribes had a wide variety of jobs. They kept the grain and food supply. When a government census, an official count of the population, counted the people living in Egypt, they recorded the results. Some scribes calculated and collected taxes. Legal scribes kept court cases and helped enforce laws. Military scribes kept track of the army's soldiers and the food supply. Each scribe had the same tool. For pens, they used finely sharpened reeds. For paper, they used papyrus laid out on a writing tablet. The tablets were made of wood and stone. Each tablet contained two wells, one for black and one for red. A small container had water that wetted the ink. A scribe carried his tools with him wherever he traveled. His tablet hung from a cord swung over his shoulder. Leather bags and cases attached to the tablet held his other tools. Scribes also held rolls of papyrus. Here is an example of some of their papyrus. Papyrus scrolls and their tablet. <laughs> 